Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to do this video today because I am going to be using the Conmarie method to organize Chris's wardrobe. So as you can see behind me, it's quite a mess, but that's just what's outside the wardrobe. So I'm gonna open it up now and show you guys what it's like. So basically the Conmarie method is from a lady called Maria Kondo and she believes that you should stack your clothes in a way so it's not like one on top of each other like that. They're actually like standing upright, kind of like you can see book binds. So it's easier for you to see which clothes you want without messing up the whole of your wardrobe. So Chris's wardrobe 100% needs this. So I'm actually really excited to get in there and do it myself. And he has promised me that he will then keep it tidy, but whether that happens or not is another story. So I'm gonna kind of get everything out and go through everything and get Chris to perch while we are doing it. So the Conmarie method for folding is as follows. You wanna place your piece of clothing down. She always says to do it um, down but I like to do it front down because especially in Chris's wardrobe he's got so many t-shirts that are the same color so if it's front down then you can see the logo then you want to take one side up until the collar fold that back iron it out take the other side up into the collar fold it back iron it out this is great in our house because I don't like ironing then you want to take the weak part, which is the collar side, and fold it back. But you don't, you don't want to fold it exactly in half. You want to leave a little kind of overlap there. Then you want to go into a third and a third. So she believes once the clothes are folded, they should be able to stand up by themselves. So that's a t-shirt. Now I'm going to show you guys how to fold some trousers. So what you want to start off doing is just folding them in half and giving them a little iron out. Then you want to get this crotch bit, fold it over. What you basically want to do is make all your clothes go into a rectangle. That's your first aim of the game. Once the, once the trousers have been folded in half, that's when you then do a third and a third. And then for shorts, again, you want to fold them in half, iron it out, make your rectangle, do a third, and a third, and you are done. Right guys, so here is Chris's wardrobe. As you can see, we've got a nice pile of clothes just stuffed there loads of stuff there and then look at these drawers also that is his extended wardrobe too plus if i take you to the top here that is also his extended wardrobe so my aim is to get these drawers looking a lot nicer i mean i'm sure he doesn't even need all of this stuff so i'm going to see if I can make it look so good with the Conmarie method. Right, so first things first, I'm just gonna take everything out of his wardrobe so I can just start again. You think 
business. None of your business. I'll run, run, run. When did you quit being fun, fun, fun? Should've known better. I'm done. Looks like we faced it. end result I'm really pleased with how it's come out and we have got three quarters of the drawer completely free when Chris saw me folding everything up he was like I'm not going to be doing that so he has agreed for me to show him how to do this method and he will try his hardest to keep going with it so as you can see we also made a whole shelf free here so I managed to get five pairs of his shoes well one four pairs of shoes one pair of slippers onto here too which makes it less cluttered downstairs. I'm quite funny about having the coat hangers all the same way so as you can see I have done that on both sides because I just think it looks a lot neater. Okay now it's Chris's turn. <laughs> oh, a third, oh. a third. Oh, I thought you just leave a little bit at the top. Yeah. One more? No. That. So Chris's wardrobe is done and I am so pleased with the end result. It looks so good. I am totally, totally converted to the Comarie Method way and I will 100% be doing it in more parts of my house. So this is just the first video I'm posting on this. I will next be doing my wardrobe, the kids' wardrobes and also just decluttering and minimalizing my whole home. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe below for more videos like this. See you soon. Bye.